If you enjoy the channel and don't want to miss a video, press the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Hey folks, Mobile Giza here, back with another installment of Giza Bits news that happened last week. As you can see, there's been a change of venue, not chewing in the car anymore. I'll be shooting at home here in the office from now on, and also a change in time. From here on, we'll be doing it uh, late Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening. So let me know what you think of the change, if you like it. So let's get on to uh, last week's news. For a change, we did have some news last week, uh, mostly from Huawei. Uh, they unveiled their Honor 7X and Honor View 10, both of which I gather are coming to the U.S. The Honor 7X had an all-aluminum build a 5.93 inch 2160 by 1080 LCD IPS display, a 3340 milliamp battery, a Kirin 659 processor, and a micro SD card up to 256 gig. It's got two rear cameras, a 16 megapixel and a 2 megapixel, and an 8 megapixel camera in front has a rear fingerprint sensor. All of this for $200 US. So it seems like a pretty good deal to me. Don't know if I'll be getting this in the future, but we'll see. You can order it right now from Honor's website. Also, they came out with the Honor View 10, which I gather is much the same as the Mate 10 Pro. An all aluminum build, Kirin 970 processor, which Honor calls their AI processor, a 5.99 inch display, basically 6 inches, 6 gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage. It's got a front fingerprint sensor, dual cameras, 20 megapixel monochrome, 16 megapixel RGB with an F 1.8 aperture. It does portrait mode and facial unlock. Seems like everybody's going to both of those. And the front camera is a 13 megapixel. It's coming out in Android 8.0 Oreo and it should be, so I've seen, somewhere between $500 and $550. So we'll see when that comes out in the US and when it can be ordered here. Next up is Huawei launched the Nova 2S in China only, I gather. Uh, that has a 6 inch 18 by 9 2160 by 1080p display, a Kirin 960 processor, which is still a really good processor, 4 or 6 gigabytes of RAM, respectively 64 or 128 gigabytes of storage. It's got dual rear cameras, 16 megapixel RGB sensor, 20 megapixel monochrome sensor. Gee, we've heard that before. With an f2.0 aperture. Front facing cameras, 2160 front facing with a secondary 2 megapixel. So dual cameras on both sides. That one's also with Android 8 Oreo. But Right now, it's only in China. Don't know if that'll be coming to the U.S. at all. And LG came out with their V30 Signature Edition for South Korea. And the difference between that and the regular V30, it's got 6 gigabytes of RAM, not 4. 250 gigabytes of storage. It's got Android Oreo. And it has a zirconium ceramic back instead of glass. Now the regular price of the LG V30 is $824. For the signature edition, $1,800.
Yes, that was $1,800. You can bet I won't be getting that phone. And OnePlus came out last week with their Star Wars theme OnePlus 5T in India and then for Denmark, Finland, and Sweden. Don't know if that'll be coming to the U.S., but it seems that a lot of people are excited to get the Star Wars themed OnePlus 5T. Next bit of news, seems like Apple's getting very close to acquiring Shazam, the music recognition app. Now, Shazam's been around since 1999, but it's gotten pretty big in the last couple of years. Apple is supposedly getting them for 400 million, even though Shazam was valued at 1 billion in 2015, but they've been struggling to get become profitable. So we'll see if Apple gobbles them up real soon. And the last bit of news I had is Instagram is testing its own messaging app called Instagram Direct. Right now they're testing it in Chile, Israel, Italy, Portugal, Turkey, and Uruguay. So I guess once the testing is done, it'll be coming to the U.S. and many other countries. So it seems that Instagram wants to get on board with its own messaging app like a lot of other people. So that's all the news that I had from last week. Uh, let me know if you like this new venue, if everything looks and sounds good to you, and of course, as always, comments are welcome. Thanks. Thank you.